Oh, my hair's a mess. Right. Welcome to the second video on my channel now. Um, this video is going to be about food and what I feed my XL Buller. I'm going town now. I've just got some things to get. I need to go bank and then I'm going to go to the raw dog shop. What it is for us is that um, we're all right. Like, I've got a shop that's as specified just for raw dogs food. I'll take you along and show you where it is and what it's looking like. But it's made my life so much more easier because some people have to go to raw butchers which is more expensive like actually getting raw meat from butchers works out more expensive and the thing is with this shop is that they've got amazing like raw dog treats like baby chickens fish antlers and um yeah all of that good stuff yeah so i'm just gonna go town and then i'll pick up the camera when i can next again i'll get the food i'll show you the food i'll show you me putting the food away, prepping the food, and then I'll show you Pablo and me giving Pablo the food. So, yeah, bear with us. Just arrived at the shop now. Need to mask up. Nope, that's wrong way. I think. So, yeah, I'll show you what's inside the shop now, what items they have, and how much things are. Give us a minute. Right, I've just bought the shop in. It's if you've seen on the clips I did in the shop, it was 28 packets for £23.50. And each packet has 450 grams in. That's duck mints. I got duck mints, chicken and beef mints. And also for a treat. Some people might find it nasty, but it is what it is. I got Pablo a venison leg. He'll just gnaw and chew at this all day. So yeah, I'll go put it away. Go home, I'll show you me feeding Pablo. Yep, so I've just got home. I'm just going to prep Pablo's food in his bowl. There we are, that's all his food prepped. We've got chicken and tripe, some beef, egg and apples, just because he really likes apples. So yeah, I'll take it out and feed him now. Here he is guys, if you're new to the channel, if it is your first video you're watching, Pablo is currently an 11 month old XL Buller, he's a lilac tri, and he's a hungry fella. I like to hand feed him, because I train him whilst I hand feed him, it builds your bond up more, and uh, I just enjoy it, I find it satisfying. He's very patient as well with his food. Like he's right above the ball, but you won't press the limit and he'll wait for me to feed him. Just keep a bit away from his gob though. There you go, my boy. Ah. Sit. Sorry if the angle ain't too good, guys, but um, it's one of them. I'm thinking on getting a camera, but it just depends how well this channel does. And if you people are interested in more videos of me and Pablo and what we get up to, definitely leave a like, leave a subscribe. And uh, we'll invest more into our YouTube channel and take as far as it'll go. Isn't it, Pubs? There you are, baby boy. There you are. Now I'm just going to let him eat the rest on his own. He won't touch it. He won't move. He won't move an inch until I give him permission to eat. I've been training him like that since I've got him at eight weeks old. So all I have to say is, get it. And he's on it. And he's enjoying it. So we're just going to enjoy our, our meal here. And then we're going to go for a walk. 
I just want to show you as well. There's absolutely no food aggression. I don't like bothering him when he eats. I don't do it at all, to be honest. But just to show, absolute no food aggression. He's fine. I have my fingers all in here. He won't do nothing. But I don't I don't mess about with him when he, when he eats. I just let him eat. See his muscles on his shoulders popping out now. Good lad, pubs. Come on, pubs. Come on. Pubs, come on. He smells somewhere. If I start walking off, he'll come running. Yes, we're going to walk off. He loves smelling and he loves scent marking. That's the only parts of a walk that he enjoys. You know your daft get. But his colours really pop in the sun. He's shining today. Alright, the sun's behind us, so it's making the light in a bit of a madness. But Pablo's had his breakfast. Maybe he's on a walk. He's a lazy bugger. He got a bit overweight last month. So I had to cut down his food because you know sometimes what it is with dogs is you get dogs that are really picky. Oh, you get dogs that just have got a bottomless stomach and Pablo's got a bit of a bottomless stomach. He would eat and eat and eat and um, I just think he's not full. So I just carried on letting him eat and he got really fat. So I've put down his, cut down his food a bit now. And um, he's just sent marking left, right and centre. I cut down his food. So he's at a better weight now and he's looking a lot better to be honest. But yeah, man. So I guess this will be the outro. We'll just carry on with our walk and that's it. So make sure you like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was a bit informative because on my TikTok especially, I get a lot of questions on my dog and what I feed him especially. So yeah, let me know what you want to see next. Like, subscribe and comment down below. I want to see comments or video suggestions and whichever one I like most I'll do. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. See you later.